Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, as Christ is anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you share, live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. Now, all of them have very unique christening suits on. I don't think she's the first to wear this one. This is her grandmother's wedding that's, dress. Oh, how nice. Oh, my so gosh. beautiful. And we got a nice little Irish outfit here. Yeah. 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 Look at this. And we have another great family christening outfit. Family christening outfit. And this one's newer. This one's new. Okay, yeah. one of many. Bought by her oh, grandma. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Now, it's a tradition, again, that goes back to the earliest days of the church, when the church moved from Jerusalem after it was sacked to Rome being the center of the church. If somebody wanted to become a Christian, not only were they baptized, their whole household was. That's another reason you're here. Not even the family, but even the servants. They were taken to a narrow, shallow part of the river. They went in totally underwater, dying to the old life of being pagans, came up on the other side of the shore. They were given a white garment to wear so people would recognize them as Christians. Now that was pretty gutsy in those days because after Nero, the emperor, most of the emperors were not very friendly to the Christians. So identifying yourself as one might get you tossed into the, the Colosseum and be fed to the lions. Well, it's interesting because when I came to the back of the church, I immediately spotted who was going to be baptized because they have their, their outfit on. They're going to be the new Christians. But they're going to take these off real soon. So how are we going to recognize them as being Christians? By their actions, not by what they wear. But having said that, we have another white garment for them. This white garment is a stole, like the stole I am wearing, except smaller. Stoles come to us from the Romans. The Romans would put on their stoles when they went to do their work. So a Roman doctor would wear his physician stole before he went to visit a patient. A Roman lawyer would put on his lawyer stole before he stood before a magistrate. I went in the sacristy and put on this stole before doing the work of baptism. So this reminds these little ones that they got the work of the Lord to do when they grow up. Not just my job as the ordained priest to visit the sick, to feed the hungry, to, uh, to bring justice to the world, to preach the gospel. It's all of our jobs. By grace of our baptism, it's part of their job as well. So we're going to put this around you so... Say the prayer that goes with that. My dear children, you have become new creations and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in these white garments the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example bring that dignity unstained to the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. Amen. On Holy Saturday night, the night before Easter Sunday, Easter fire is lit in the back of church here. From the Easter fire we light the Paschal candle, the big candle there. It is an ancient symbol of the light of Christ, and that light is carried in the church for all to see. The light of Christ is with his children now. We're going to pray that it stays with them throughout their lives. Lit. So. This is a smaller version of them. We give this to the Godfathers to hold. So, Godfather. One. And we have Godfather here. And we have two Godmothers here. Okay. Got that one? Okay. Let me say the prayer that goes with that now. My dear children, receive the light of Christ. Parents, Godparents, family, these lights are entrusted to all of you to be kept burning brightly. These children are, have been enlightened by Christ. They are to walk always as children of the light. 
May they keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. And the Lord comes, may they go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. So their faith journey has just begun. In a second, we're going to say a prayer that it's a long journey, a healthy journey, a journey that takes them to the far corners of the world and deep into their own hearts, a journey that's filled with laughter and love, a journey where the air they breathe is clean and the water they drink is pure. But every journey comes to an end. And so these symbols will return at the end of their journey. A couple months back, I buried a parishioner who'd been a parishioner here for 99 years. That's before this church building was even built. And they wheeled your coffin and stopped right here. We blessed the body with the same holy water we used in baptism. Same pastoral candle was lit. We prayed that the light of Christ never had gone out in her life. We put the white funeral pall over the coffin, continuation of the symbol of the white garment. And so everything that begins here will come back here ultimately. And that's important to realize that that journey, our God is with us that entire journey. So let's pray for these children on their journey. My dear friends, these children have been reborn in baptism. They are now called children of God, for so indeed they are. In confirmation, they will receive the fullness of God's spirit. In holy communion, they will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God their Father in the midst of the church. In their name, in the spirit of the commitment that you all made to these children, I invite us to pray the Lord's Prayer for them. Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now we're going to end with three blessings. A blessing for the mom, a blessing for the dad, a blessing for everyone here. So can I have uh, four moms, basically? Four mothers can stand right up here holding your child. Mom, and right here standing together. And let's all extend our hands over these wonderful mothers. Give them a blessing. God the Father, through His Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May He bless the mothers of these children. They now thank God for the gift of their children. May they be one with them in thanking God forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Dad, if you would take your kids now and stand right where the mothers were. Okay, right here. Dad, come on over here, stand together. And let's pray for these fathers now. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. We bless the father of these children. With their wives, they will be the first teachers of their children in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith of what they say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord. And the mom's one. Now, God, Godmothers, if you hold the children, for a blessing for all of us. Godmother, for the children, blessing for all of us. more work, Godmother? You got to hold this one. Okay, watch it on trip here. Okay, just bow your heads because this blessing is for all of you. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. And goodness, may God continue to pour out blessings upon all present who are God's sons and daughters. May God always, wherever you may, may, wherever you may be, make you faithful members of God's holy people. May God send peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Almighty God bless you all now. Bless these little ones in a special way. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And you four, we go now in peace. <laughs> Thanks for being together. Let's hear it for our people. Yay! Go babies! <laughs> you know, I noticed when you clap, I'm going to try it home. I don't get it all the time. <laughs>